come to the third part of arterial line, you decide to put an arterial line. Which one you would go for? Go radial all day and miles. Radial is easy for everybody. It's easier to put, easier to take care of by the nurses, easier to secure, easier to remove. Next, if you cannot place radial for a reason or another, go brachial. And last resort, go femoral. Femoral is difficult to place, difficult to secure, difficult to take care of. And I've seen from real life examples that cardiologists, because they have a sheath during cardiac procedure, they leave the femoral central artery. Um, a central line and arterial line as well. The arterial line is a very useful tool not just in measuring blood pressure but in making it easy for doing ABGs. It's just you can just draw the blood through the arterial line you don't have to stick the patient anymore. So it's very helpful to everybody to nurses and respiratory therapists in doing frequent ABGs. And then to doing the, or the, the routine blood work you can also take it from the arterial line as well so that will save the patient a lot of sticks so that's another uh, good clinical use of arterial line please remove as soon as possible as soon as when you don't need it like for somebody who was hypotensive and now the blood pressure is normal great or somebody was very hypertensive on iv drips to control blood pressure and he's better now remove so any foreign body any device anything you do with patients as soon as you don't need it please remove it now in clinical practice the the only problem or time that the nurses will call you for arterial line is basically that it's mal positioned they think it's malpositioned because wave form is kind of not consistent and as I said mainly suspect malposition if you see the wave form on the monitor kind of uh, low amplitude like this as we explained barely coming like this again Whenever you have an issue with the arterial line, whether this waveform or the spiked waveform, as we explained, the first thing to the nurse, hey, can you zero or uh, zero it or reset it? I recommend to do that always and also flush it. And the nurse will do that quickly. If there is still a problem, you can try to reposition the catheter the arterial line if you have the experience and the ability to do so so if you don't know how to place catheter you won't be able to do this but if you place the catheter you can just slightly in few millimeters here or there move the catheter back and forth right and left and see the waveform if this is still not working then remove it and check do you still need it if yes Put a new one okay you can use the same site it not necessarily means you cannot use this site for example because you just put an a line there of course avoid putting it when there is an infection or a hematoma or different anatomy of course you need to be considerate of that the last thing I need to talk about God forbid your patient has now we need to do CPR, went into cardiac arrest and doing CPR. Usually as you know, every kind of two minutes we check the pulse and we call them, okay, please check the pulse please and they check femoral and carotid. When you have an A line, during CPR, during chest compression, good waveforms means that they are good compression. And when you stop checking for pulse, if the A-line is flat, that means the patient still pulseless. Again, still ask people to check the pulse for you, but look at the A-line right away. 
even if you have an electric activity check the airline if it's flat that means it's PA it's still pulseless and if you see activity in the airline without compression that the pulse the patient got his pulse back and you had a successful cardiac resuscitation I think that's all for arterial line for now